This segment on Bridge Street is sponsored by Aging Advocates CNY. Well, June is a month of many things, but did you know that it's Dysphagia and Aphasia Awareness Month? Many might not even know what those are, and that's why we have Amberly Reinertsen, Executive Director of Aging Advocate CNY, and Ainsley Martin, owner of State of Mind Speech and Swallowing, uh, to tell us all about this morning. Good morning to you both, and uh, Ainsley, let's start with you. What, what, what is dysphagia? Yeah, of course. So dysphagia refers to swallowing dysfunction. So it can be the actual impairment in swallowing, or it could be just the perception of having difficulty swallowing. Following. All right, and then the follow-up question would be, what is aphasia? Aphasia refers to language issues, so that can be issues in verbal expression, um, in language comprehension, in reading, and in writing. Amberly, can you tell us a little bit about the correlation between frailty and the swallowing disorders that we're talking about? Sure, I'm actually going to let Inslee okay. answer that question. Yeah, I'd be happy to. So the more frail a person is, the more weak they are, the more difficult it is for their body to fight against um, certain changes. So normally if they're experiencing some swallowing difficulties, it might be okay, but if someone's frail, they're more likely to experience the negative consequences like pneumonia, and that pneumonia is more likely to be fatal if a person is frail. How can aging advocates help with a with a topic and a subject like this? Sure, so as an aging life care professional, we go into the home and we'll do a full intake and we may notice some things that lead us to believe that this person might be, um, might have aphasia or dysphagia. So for instance, um, if they're having a hard time articulating what they want to say when we're asking them a question, or maybe they take a sip of water and they start coughing, um, we would recommend obviously going to see someone like Ainsley, a speech pathologist, to see what's happening. I was going to ask you about some of the red flags that uh, caretakers should be looking out for, and then if they suspect something, what, what's the process in terms of putting them in touch with somebody like Ainsley? Sure. So I would say some of the red flags, again, are going to be suffering from not being able to articulate what they want to say. Um, social isolation is big, too, because when you don't know what you need you want to say and you're with a big group of people it's hard so they tend to isolate a lot of our seniors will tend to isolate um, and then of course with choking taking pills sure. um, choking on their their pills um, we would then make a referral to uh, Ainsley all right we're running out of time last word anything that you want to get to that we didn't touch on um, just if you see that there's any issue being proactive is better than being reactive so if you see something see a speech pathologist and we'll be able to let you know if we need to assess further, but definitely earlier intervention is key. Well said. Uh, thank you, ladies, both for coming on. We appreciate it. If you'd like to more, more information on this subject, you can go to aging.